Hello everyone, Wanda here, and I'm going to do this uh, whimsical butterfly. I don't know, more like a pretty rainbow butterfly, because you know me, I like rainbowing out. <laughs> but it's not going to be a typical rainbow, so it'll be a little different. Anyways, I'm going to be using Chromatuck watercolor brush pens, and we're going to do some foil. I'm going to be using the transparent holographic, my favorite. My favorite clear holographics. I have several favorite foils, but those are my go-tos. I really love those. They never let me down. I'll be using SXC Nail Art Foil Glue. I'll also be using the Five Below. Um, it's a Sun Mini Lamp LED. I'm sorry, <laughs> UV LED lamp. It's six LEDs, six watts. Um, you can pick this up at Five Below. Uh, for five bucks. Um, let's see what else. I'm going to be blending in an Artuli acrylic paint pen in white. A couple of liner brushes. I'll be lining with Apple Barrel Jet Black and Treasure Gold 3081E. Or should I do silver? No, I'm going to do gold. <laughs> Why not? Anyways, I'll also be using a uh, disposable eyeliner brush to apply the glue. So with that said, I have printed out my butterfly and I'm going to kind of stick to, this is it. Isn't that beautiful? I want, I want it to look like that, but, uh, lined in gold. So that's what I'm doing today. And I've shrunk it down 50% from the hundred percent when I printed it out. Um, on my printer, shrunk it down. I traced it onto my rock using carbon paper and a nail stylus, just a normal dotting tool, nail stylus. I use that to uh, draw it on. I like that uh, instead of pencil because pencil is very messy. It leaves, um, you know, graphite all over the place and on white Santorini, then you get graphite everywhere. See, this doesn't smear, it doesn't come off or transfer or anything like that onto your hands. So, and when you're done, if there's any bits of it out here, you can just take a nail file or a sanding paper or a filing or a sanding block, which is what I'm looking for. I don't know where I put it. Anyways, uh, I never know where anything is. You guys would laugh at me. Oh, here's a piece of sanding paper. Anyways, you see this little black spot here? See this? And it's gone. It's magic. Santorini's are very lovely, lovely marble stones to work with. And they keep this beautiful sparkle. Yeah, they're, made. they're magic. All right. So to start, I'm going to line my butterfly with black paint. So I'm just going to show you just a bit of that and then I'm going to pause and jump back in after my lining is done, okay? That way you're not watching me do this for an hour. <laughs> so you can do this with paint pen or brush and paint. I might have to get a thicker brush, bigger brush. I started using paint pens a lot and I lost my muscle memory for doing small thin lines so I'm trying to force myself to get back with my brushes because it's necessary you know when you need to do fine little things you need to have your muscle memory for your paint brushes so I'm still a little shaky with it again it's almost like starting over brand new. But we get spoiled, you know. And don't get me wrong, I love paint pens and I still will use them. But All right, with that said, uh, this is Apple Barrel Jet Black. I'm going to be lining with that and I'm also going to be doing a gold outer line. So I'm going to do both of those and then I'll meet you back here. All right, I'm back and I have everything lined the way I want it. So I'm going to use a dotting tool. Uh, if I can 
find it. I just had it. <laughs> Where'd I put it? There it is. And I'm going to use a bit of blue paint because I want inside these dots to be blue. I just don't know if it's going to be bright enough. Probably not. Okay. Now for the fun part. I'm going to work with my Chromatech pins and I'm just going to start coloring like um like I would a coloring book. I'm shaking my Thule art pen. And it's a, the fat tip, I don't know what size that is, but, oh, 3.0 medium, millimeter, <laughs> sorry. And I believe it's just white. And I gotta work with it for a minute. Okay, I'm gonna start, you know, I am going to have this simple rock over here so I can test my colors. Because, This is turquoise. No, I think I'll just do both sides. That way I don't have to hunt. And Egyptian blue. Azure. Sky blue. Heron blue, blending that together here. And I'm going to be using a aquash water brush pen with no water in it, just damp. Picking up a little bit of this white and blending out here for some highlights. And in here. Egyptian blue again.
sky or hair in blue. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, I like that. Now I'm going to put a definite white highlight here. And out here. not right. <laughs> Trying to put the wrong caps on the wrong pins. Okay, on to the next color. I'm going to start with the Egyptian blue in here. And midnight blue. Sky blue. Egyptian blue again. It's just a blending game back and forth and back and forth. <laughs> Little turquoise here at the edge. And the aquash brush with the white. Midnight Blue. Sky Blue. I mean Heron Blue. Sorry. Now, 
This next section is uh, like a magenta. Um, into a these blue colors again. So start with new. Let's see, it's too dark. Let's start with magenta or fuchsia. Sorry. In the sky blue. Heron blue to blend here at this bit in here, not up there, but here at the where they come together. I find this heron blue to be a great blender pen with the Chromatech water brush pens. Okay, aquash with some of the white. And we want to bring white here. Oops, I have a wrong one. Hair and blue. Same thing on this side. Okay, and then down in this section, the next section down, we're going to be doing like a bright pink and it's going to blend into a yellow. So we're doing a bright pink in here. I'm going to mix that with a pink, nope. 
<laughs> with the fuchsia on the edges here. And then yellow. I'm going to start with deep yellow here. And lemon yellow. And I'm going to blend that out with light pink, which is sort of like our hair and blue. It's a great blender. And blend all these together. This fluorescent yellow. I'm just gonna give it some oomph. And you can just wipe your pen right off and the color will come right back to it if you've gotten another color on it that you did not want there. see here okay and I don't have any highlights in there so we're gonna come down the next layer level and do some purples I'm gonna do light violet around our dot like so and this does have white and it just has a, a tiny amount of blue down here in the corner You can probably use any white you want to, um, and this might even work better with um, some like white matte acrylic. Light violet.
the section next to it is back to the yellow. Um, we'll start with lemon yellow out here. And then I'm going to bring in the pink, light pink, right here. like in the yellow so I can get a nice orange gradient and oh not that one pink perfect that's it and the same whoops I guess I should have just taking it down. It's the same thing down here. Boy guys, we're almost done already. Wow, that went fast. And at the juncture, I'm going to use light pink. Bring that lemon yellow back into the light pink. Okay, for this section here, it's blues and purples. I'm going to use a little azure here. I'm going to put a tinge here in the corners. A little bright pink here. And violet here. Harem blue. Where did I put it? There it is. To blend. Perfect. Now I need some white. In here. I'm going to let that dry a bit and then I'm going to add like wider highlights around uh, our butterfly. It's really beautiful. It's not too far off. I'm liking it. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm using Jelly Roll number eight and giving my highlights here in white
thought I tried to blend, huh? Uh, were you guys just going to let me leave it like that? Come on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, and then around these bottom. Good. Now we start foiling. Yay! Okay, I'm just gonna pop the pens in the, the vase. And I'm using SXC brand nail art foil glue. And I'm gonna put on my gloves and my mask. I'll be right back. Light camera action. Okay. okay, I'm gonna pour some of the glue into my dish. And get my foils ready and my little scissors. Okay. And my tweezers. Disposable eyeliner brush. And here we go. When you're working with these little tiny pointed areas here, you want to start out here a bit and then pull back into it. And that'll keep the line nice and small. Okay, I'm going to do both sides at the same time. I think I'm going to use some rhinestones too. I'm feeling the rhinestones. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to cure that, move my glue out of the way. I'm going to give that one cycle. Okay, and I'm going to be using different facets, different foils to create different facets in each section. So I'm going to start in the big section with the larger size facets. I call it large crushed glass. And turn it over and use the other side here. Very good. That's quite beautiful. Quite. <laughs> Next section.
and my glue today is nice and warm so I'm not seeing any bubbles so I'm not needing to fire it but if you are in a cooler temperature you can use your torch to pop the bubbles on your glue you just make sure the flames on low and you're done okay I'm gonna cure this for one cycle getting the glue out of the way for this next one I'm going to use the smaller crushed glass which is suspiciously just very close to Santorini <laughs> can you see the uh, sparkles in the Santorini they're about the same size I think it's cool so small crushed glass small crushed glass is like Santorini size okay I'm leaving my foils here because I'll probably use them again they have lots left on them next section I'm going to add my glue to these two sections and I'll be right back to apply the foil. Okay, I chose the little discs for this one. I'm going to do the next section. Right, and I'm going to cure that. Okay. I'm going to use the stars. I don't know if we can see that. This one is tricky. Which side is it goes down? Okay, I think we're right. Yep. Yay. And I cured the other areas too, so I'm just going to keep going. And I'm going to reuse some of these. I have some left here. I'm going to do this outer portion. I have some here. And I'm going to do the inner portions with the smaller. And the body I'm going to do with the laser. It's going to, whoops, it's going to look so pretty, the black.
Okay. And I'm going to cure that for one cycle. And I'm going to grab the rhinestones and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to apply the laser to the body. For this one, I need a Q-tip because I applied a mound. I mound it or that be um, domed. I domed it so we could have some texture on the body. Can you see it there? They're all domed, but this one's really domed. Let's see here. Isn't that beautiful? All right, I have the rhinestones out, and we have some options here. I'm thinking body. Oh, hang on. I think we have little ones here. Like head, body. Or should that go this way? Yeah, thinking that's probably more natural looking this way. Like about like that. And then I can put a couple little baby ones in there. Or a baby one. <laughs> and then four out here Like that. And let's see what you think. Okay, light on. Okay, I am going to set these with some top coat. Or a lot of you have the UV. Um, rhinestone glue and they come like this you know maybe I'll try it again I've just I did this before and it was not great I don't know what it is about this brand but we'll see I'll try it again um, you can use it with a disposable eyeliner brush it's sort of a two-handed thing here lift and this is when that UV light comes in real handy <laughs> yep so you apply it just drop it in there and make sure your glue is out of the way See how I have my hand blocking it here? Hit it with the light. Oh, it worked that time. That's good. Now when you, um, another way to do this, and I'll show you, is to use a top coat, which is how I think I'm going to finish it. 
because I've been uh, really loving the look of the um, Santorini bear and then my my design sealed so it's it's beautiful the the bare rock with the sealed um, design so oh I may need another top coat Yay. all right let me grab a different one whoops okay so if you're going to do top coat you want to apply it to your whole project but not outside of your liner if that makes sense so it's basically a UV resin but it's a 60 second UV resin which is quite nice so I'm just going to paint around this. You can use your uh, eyeliner brush, obviously. And don't paint on top of your rhinestones with it because you'll lose your facets. So what I will do is move my rhinestones off, except for the one I just attached. That one will stay there. I'm going to move these off. Put my top coat on. Okay, I've switched to a eyeliner brush, a disposable eyeliner brush, and I'm getting into these little tiny places, trying not to cover my rhinestone, and I need to also cover my paint, all of the places that I painted, but just the places that are painted. For the look I'm going for. I mean, you are obviously you can take this, dump some on, and do the whole surface. I do that a lot too. That's why I go through way too much top coat. <laughs> it's an expensive resin, <laughs> but And, okay, so I'm going to start on this side now. And if you have a bigger light, like um, a higher wattage light, it's totally fine to put this in there for that. Now that your foils are all done and cured you can totally cure the top coat inside your big light if it's easier for you to do it that way if you have a large space or a larger rock you're working on just like you would your uv resin you can cure this that way too it actually cures faster that way just one 30 second cycle or at least that's what um, beetles and mac art the brands I'm using here. This is MacArt Top Coat. And for some reason, this one's hard to find and hard to get. MacArt is usually pretty good, but they've been out of this for a while. And it doesn't look like this anymore. If it is it, it doesn't look the same. So I haven't repurchased, but.
Okay, almost done, guys. And I'm going to cure it for one cycle. But before I do that, I'm going to drop my rhinestones so they can set. I probably got too much top coat here. I would definitely do this thinner. <laughs> Let's see. Did I miss a spot here? Yeah. Okay, looks good. I think I got everywhere. So rhinestones, now you can spot here so that they don't go sliding around on you. If you have a light, boom, boom, boom. I think it already cured <laughs> just for the 10 seconds. Dang it. Hmm. That's okay. Hopefully. I will just add a smidge of the top coat around. Two, three, four, five, and cure it for a whole cycle. Just one. I'm going to put it in the big one and I'll show you. There it is, my mess. <laughs> my scary brush carousels. So we'll let this go for 30 seconds. Okay, guys. All done with our beautiful butterfly this is a great Mother's Day gift if you have a mom that loves butterflies and whimsical and rainbowy pastel I think it's absolutely gorgeous don't forget to sign your work always and Voila. And if you need to seal your signature, you can just do a little dot of your top coat and hit it with your light. And uh, that's good to go. Hopefully that's dry. <laughs> like that. And you're good. So if you liked what you saw here today and um, you're interested in winning a free foiling kit, which will include foil, glue, the light, this light, a light like this, um, sorry for the racket, I had to grab the gift, it's a lot of stuff so this is the actual actual gift the kit so if you want to win this gift go over to creative 
rock art, I'm sorry, creative rock art and foiling techniques. You're on the Foiling Rock Lady and Friends right here on YouTube. You need to hit subscribe. Take a screenshot and go over to creative rock art and foiling techniques and post your screenshot and then share this and post a picture of that um, on the uh, link to the post, which I will post in the comments. I'll give you the link. Easy for you to get there. Just go post your pictures over there and I will put your name on the wheel. The wheel spin will happen when the Foiling Rock Lady and Friends hits 750 subscribers. So if we're past that, this contest is over. If we haven't hit that, you can still get in on it at Creative Rock Art and Foiling Techniques on Facebook. Remember to go over there. The link is in the description. So here is the gift. You've got the foil, the glue, the light, and that is this light here, the same light that we used today. Okay, you have two Santorini and 15 disposable eyeliner brushes. There's 15 of them in total in the kit. And a large half sleeve temporary tattoo that you can use on your rock and then paint it and foil on top of it and they are absolutely gorgeous. I have several tutorials doing this technique that you can go back and look at. So if you liked what you saw here today, hit subscribe and then go over there and post it so you can get in and maybe win this wonderful kit. Thank you so much. I'll be seeing you soon.